Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be creating my memory spread and this is for the week of December 16th through the 22nd. So I will be doing a Christmas spread today and I have one more afterwards before I move into my New Year's spread. I think this is the most caught up I've been in quite some time so this is very exciting. Um, the kit that I have for today is from a shop called M Crystal Prints. This is a new shop for me. I discovered her recently and made a purchase over Black Friday. Um, I think this Christmas kit is so gorgeous. It's very simplistic and kind of minimalist, but is also incredibly gorgeous. So it is in this really pretty light gold foil, which is one of my favorites. And the quote box here says, all is calm and all is bright. We've got some quarter boxes here at the bottom that have some gold foiling detail. And then on this page, we have the bottom washi, washi strips, a bow checklist, and then a Monday through Sunday box. And here we've got a lot of functional items. We have some bow check flags. We've got these arrow stickers, um, bill do stickers, half boxes, third boxes, flags. Um, I think we have a couple appointment labels and these two habit trackers. And on this page, we have the foil date covers. We've got some headers, two more half boxes, another Monday through Sunday box. We have a foiled three heart checklist and then a third box at the top. And at the bottom here, we have a ton of functional icons. Um, so we have quite a lot of stickers packed into these four pages. I'm pretty sure I will be able to use up most of them and I'm planning to bring in more foils on my own. Um, so I have a feeling this is going to be really gorgeous and I'm really excited about it. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I want to go ahead and get started. So if you're interested in watching me build this spread, then go ahead and stay tuned. I place down my bottom washi first as I usually do and I go ahead and white out those little lines on the Erin Condren planner so that I can create a space between the bottom of the day and where the bottom washi begins. So once I place down the washi on both sides, I go ahead and move to my sidebar. For this week, instead of building my sidebar first, I decided to move on to my date covers and so I go ahead and place them all down and I think I pull in these gold foil date dots from Tagami Fox. After completing with the date covers, I move back to my sidebar and continue to build the rest of it. Um, so the first thing I do is place down a strip of washi. I use this gold foiled This Week header that is from Magic Prince Co. Um, and I just use that as a header for the entire sidebar. And then I place down this habit tracker to track my working out. I used a third box from the kit with this gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts to mark my happy memories of the week. I like to have one memory for each day of the week um, just so I can kind of look back and remember some of the positive things from each day. And then I place down another third box and use the remaining Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners of the week. I then go ahead and move on to Monday. So the first thing I do is place down a today header at the top. I used a Christmas coffee cup sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark my morning coffee. And I also used this gold foil text sticker from Randy.Plans. I then placed down a full box and underneath that I used a flag with this little Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I had no meetings on Monday, which is always very exciting. I initially wrote yay and then I decided that it didn't quite match with this spread because it feels a little bit too like cutesy and childish and I feel like this kit is a bit more sophisticated and so you see me whiting that out um, and then I shifted the flag up a little bit just so the writing is centered. I then went to happy hour that night with some of my coworkers, so I put that on a half box and the gold foiled heart sticker is from Clever Gal Crafts. I decided to do some brush lettering for this week and the pen that I'm using for that is the Zebra Brush Pen, I believe in the extra fine size. After I got home from happy hour, I decided to make some cookies because I was giving them away um, as a gift the next day. I pulled in this really cute baking sticker from Mochi Kichi, and then I did some filming at the end of the night, so I pulled in this arrow sticker from the kit with a gold foiled film sticker from Magic Prince Co. For Tuesday, I first put down a full box at the bottom, and oh my goodness, I think that one is so gorgeous. It has that snow globe with the reindeer inside, and it's just so, so pretty. Um, but anyways, then moving back to the top, I first put down a work header with this appointment label to mark a meeting that I had in the morning, and then my coworkers and I did our gift exchange, so I wrote that on the planner and used this little gift sticker from Nikki Plus 3. That sticker was actually part of the icon sheet from the Nikki Plus 3 kit that I used last week, and it was really perfect that the colors matched really nicely for this week as well. I then used a quarter box with this bow paper clip sticker from Sticky Fingers Co. to mark a meeting that I had, and then I did have an IEP that afternoon, so I put that on a half box. Um, I forgot to hit record on this part, so um, I'm sorry you don't get to see me placing down those stickers, but I used this gold foiled IEP sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that meeting. 
In the remaining space, I used a header with a two bow checklist to mark some things that I did after work that day. Um, unfortunately, I missed my car appointment because my IEP meeting ran later than I expected. And so I had to go ahead and reschedule that. And to mark that to do, I used this car sticker from the Nikki Plus 3 icon sheet. For Wednesday, I first started by placing down a header at the top. I used this gold foil checkbox from Samantha May Sticks. I just love those. I think they're so functional and can be used to mark really any kind of to-do. Um, so I used that to mark something I had to get done in the morning. And then I had three meetings back to back at work that day. Um, so instead of taking up space to mark each meeting individually, I just decided to use this meeting script sticker from Hazel Sticker with this three bow checklist that came in the kit to mark each meeting. I then put down a full box and pulled in this arrow sticker to mark the last meeting I had for the day, um, but I realized I didn't have enough space to mark everything I wanted for the rest of the night, so I go ahead and actually write that meeting in the full box instead. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I did pull in this gold foiled bow from Fox and & Pip and place that on the full box. It's really light, so it's kind of hard to see, but I kind of wish I had moved that bow up a little bit so my writing could be more centered in the box, but there wasn't really a way I could white out and and change that so I just kind of had to deal with it um, then that night my boyfriend and I did date night so I used this half box and the date night sticker I pulled in is from our box stickers and that gold foiled heart is from clever gal crafts at the end of the night I had to pack because I was leaving for a trip the next day so I put that on a quarter box and that really cute old-school suitcase sticker is from sweet fox papery Moving to Thursday, I first placed down this full box at the top and it's so pretty. It's the only full box that's pink, so I decided to put it right in the center of my spread. And then underneath that, I used a quarter box to mark that I was heading out on my first work trip on Thursday. In my career, there aren't a lot of opportunities for travel, so when this one came up, I just seized it right away and um, offered to go and help out my district. Um, I was actually going to be staying with a friend because I have a friend that lives in Houston, which is where I was going, so that made it extra exciting. I used this really cute airplane sticker from my spoiled planner to mark that I landed in Houston. And then I placed down a washi strip with this three bow checklist to mark some things that I did when I got there. My friend had work, so I actually just went to her place and chilled out for a bit while waiting for her to come home. Um, I pulled in the string sticker from the Nikki Plus 3 icon sheet to mark that I had a beer while waiting for her. And then when she got home, we went and grabbed some dinner and then got some drinks at a bar. So I decided to use this thicker washi strip to mark both of those things. And the utensils icon I put down is from Hazel Sticker. At the end of the night, we just kind of chilled out because both of us had work the next morning. We watched this show on Hulu. It was called Rami, and it was really, really good. I enjoyed it so much that I binged the entire season um, during the time that I was staying with her, mostly because it was so good, but also because I don't have Hulu, um, so I definitely had to finish it before I got home. But anyways, moving on to Friday, I first placed down a full box at the top, and then I moved back to the top to start journaling my day. So the first thing I put down is a today header at the top, and then I used this half box to mark the work part of my work trip. I had to go and do some observations and interviews at a facility that was um, a little outside of Houston and it actually turned out to be a really interesting experience. Um, to mark that, I used this gold foiled pencil sticker from Samantha May Sticks. I grabbed a quick bite to eat at a taco place, so I used this taco sticker from Plans with Finesse, and then because my friend was still at work, I decided to go downtown and kind of do some exploring on my own. Um, it did start sprinkling, which was a bummer, but it was still kind of fun just to kind of explore this city by myself. To mark that, I used a quarter box with this gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts. I then realized that in order to fit everything I wanted, I had to use the full box to mark some things that we did at the end of the night. So on that, I put down this drinks sticker from Paper and Milk because we went out that night. We first went to a country line dancing bar, which was really fun. And then we went to another bar that played like hip hop and indie rock. So it was definitely quite a diverse night in terms of our musical selection. But anyways, to mark those two things, I used more gold foil check boxes from Samantha May Sticks. Above the full box, I put down this flag with this gold foiled heart from Nikki Plus 3 to mark our dinner. We actually went to a Lebanese place. That was my first time trying Lebanese food and I absolutely loved it. So I was really glad we got to do that. And then above that, I put down this light colored quarter box with a gold foiled drink sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we got some coffee before we went to dinner. 
I had just a sliver of space left and it wasn't quite big enough to fit any icons. So I just decided to draw in these three little arrows on my own and mark where I grabbed some lunch that day. Um, I got some Southern food at this place called Tree Beards and it was so good. Um, I wish I could have used a Southern food sticker to mark that, but I really just didn't have any space. But anyways, that was it for Friday. So I go ahead and move on to Saturday. Um, on Saturday, I first placed down a header with this little flag from the kit to mark that I slept in, which was lovely. And then my friend and her boyfriend and I went and grabbed some hot pot for lunch that day. I put that on a half box and that hot pot meat sticker is from Hazel Sticker. That place was so good and it was all you can eat. So it was just overall an amazing experience. And then um, we walked around the museum district and went into the contemporary art museum. So to mark that, I used this little camera icon from Nikki plus three, and then I placed down a full box underneath that. I used this appointment label to mark that I finished the show Rami. Like I said, we just binged it um, over the three days that I was in Houston because it was so good. It's only 10 episodes, so I guess it's not that much. But anyways, then I said goodbye to my friend and flew home, and that was the end of my work trip. Um, I put down a quarter box with this gold foiled heart from Clever Gal Crafts, and then I had some pizza when I got home that night as like a late night snack, so I used this pizza sticker from Once More With Love. Moving on to Sunday, I placed down a full box at the very top. This one with the candy cane is so cute. And then I placed down a few boxes at the bottom of the day just to see how much space I had to mark everything. On Sunday, one of my best friends was in town and I got to see her and hang out with her, which is always super fun. And I had gotten these customized Fox and Pip girls um, to mark me and her. So I pulled those into my spread and I'm just in love with those girl stickers. I think they're so adorable and represent us so well. And then um, because I had a little bit of empty space, I just filled that with a bow sticker from Hazel Sticker. I then cut down the heart checklist into three hearts and used a header on top of that so it didn't look really weird. And then I did a little bit of adjusting to kind of make things look less crowded. And on the checkbox, I just marked some things that my friend and I did that day. Um, I also pulled in this gold foiled heart from Nikki Plus Three. Again, that's from her little icon sheet um, from the kit that I used last week. And then that night we met up with another friend and got hot pot. So I had hot pot two days in a row, which I'm for sure not complaining about because I love hot pot. It's like one of my favorite foods, um, but I didn't really have any hot pot stickers that really matched with this kit. And so I just pulled in this fuzz sticker instead because I figured, you know, there's soup in there and there's stuff in the soup that's like close enough. Um, then at the end of the night, we watched some TV and then my friend slept over. So to mark that, I used a gold foil TV sticker from Magic Prince Co. Once I finish writing that in, I go ahead and move back to my sidebar and I go ahead and track all my happy moments and my dinners from this week. Um, for this week, there were so many fun things that happened. It was really hard to choose one thing for each day, but um, I really had to just choose my favorite thing. And now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in this kit. I definitely use quite a bit for the spread. Um, I am just doing a quick viv wiggle to show you guys the foiling that I had pulled in. And as I've been doing recently, I'm giving you a walkthrough of the spread so you can see some of the foils and details a little bit better. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's spread. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I have one more Christmas kit left and I'm actually really loving these Christmas spreads. Um, I feel like for this year, there were so many good Christmas kits. It was really hard to choose, but I'm really satisfied with my choices and I am now obsessed with M Crystal Prince. Um, I'll definitely be checking out her shop and purchasing from her again because her kits are gorgeous and the quality is amazing. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and please let me know if you have any questions as usual. Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.